Hello and welcome to the second video of our Nuendo 7 for Game Audio series. I am Celita Lucas and today we're going to be looking at ways to export audio from Nuendo to WISE and then I'm going to be showing you a few quick tips on how to speed up your workflow in Nuendo. Exporting audio files from Nuendo to WISE can be done in several different ways and which way you choose depends on how your project is organized and what types of files you wish to export. If your project is organized with markers that represent different audio files, then Nuendo's Cycle Marker Batch Export function is extremely useful. Let's assume that your Nuendo project is all about creating different variations of a single multi-layered sound, for example a gunshot. Each track in your project would represent the different layers of the sound, mechanical, punch 1, punch 2 and body, and each marker would represent the different variations. Here, we have six markers indicating six different versions of the gunshot sound. If we want to export the six-layered gunshot sound variations as six individual files, we need to go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down, and from the window that pops up, we need to check the Export Cycle Markers box and choose all six markers. Honestly, given how many different sound effects or variations are involved in game audio, the Cycle Marker Batch Export feature is, to me, worth the price of Nuendo alone. In addition to that, if we want to allow for greater variation and flexibility when programming our sounds in WISE, we can export each individual layer of each variation separately, thus generating 30 files in total in one go. To do that, in addition to specifying the markers, we also need to check the Channel Batch Export option and select all the layers. Here is where it really pays off to take advantage of Nuendo's extensive naming scheme. For example, I've set the naming scheme to use Project Name, Channel Name and Cycle Marker Name. This will give me a unique name for each of the 30 files that will be generated, clearly identifying what each file is about. Finally, in order for WISE to be able to automatically detect these files, you need to set the path to the same folder you have specified in WISE. If, on the other hand, the audio files you want to export comprise of items in the Arrange window that are not necessarily organized into tracks and markers, then Nuendo's newly introduced Render in Place function is an indispensable tool. Let's say, for example, that you want to experiment with using different layers from different versions. Simply select all those items in the Arrange window and go to Edit, Render in Place, Render Settings. Since you have selected multiple items, the Render Settings dialog will have two tabs, In Place and Export. In Place refers to when you want to replace the items in the Arrange window with the new files that will be generated but since we want to simply export the files from Nuendo, we will use the Export tab. Here, you need to also set that you want each event exported separately, which means that since we have selected four items, four files will be generated. Then you need to select how you want your audio to be generated, dry or with effects printed on it. And you can also customize the tail size of the files in terms of seconds or bars and beats, and again, use Nuendo's extensive naming scheme to determine how the files will be named. If you have gone through this setup once, each time you wish to render additional files, you can simply select Edit, Render in Place, Render with Current Settings. If you have already exported audio files from Nuendo in either of the aforementioned ways and thus specified the desired export settings, then for quick exporting of additional files, you can use a drag and drop feature of the Game Audio Connect window. First, open the Game Audio Connect window and access the Game Audio Connect settings by clicking on the gear icon. In the Audio Assets section, you can specify whether you want the metadata regarding the project path to be embedded in the audio file itself or to be exported as a separate file. To export any item or items from your Arrange window as an audio file that will be automatically saved into the folder being monitored by WISE, simply select the item or items and drag and drop them on the Game Audio Connect window. What happens is that a macro runs in the background 
automatically exporting the file or files with the last used export settings. Irrespective of which way you choose to export your files from Nuendo, as soon as these have been created inside the WISE Nuendo shared folder, a window will pop up in WISE asking you whether you wish to import these files into the connected WISE project. Let's say you are working on a background ambience track and after implementing it into the game, you find that it is a tad too complex and you want to edit it to make it simpler. With the Nuendo WISE integration, it is now a matter of locating your file in the WISE project hierarchy, right-clicking on it and choosing Edit in Nuendo. Provided that Nuendo is running, WISE will open the Nuendo project containing that file. The way this works is that every time you export a file from a Nuendo saved project, this file is embedded with information identifying the project from which it comes from. This is why, as mentioned before, it is extremely important to save your Nuendo project before exporting any files. If at a later stage you change the path of the Nuendo project, as soon as you select Edit in Nuendo in WISE, a search window will open in Nuendo which will help you locate the new path of the project. Dealing with a project with hundreds of tracks and thousands of sound effects can be daunting, tiring and utterly confusing at times. One of the things that really helped me stay focused on the task at hand and not get lost in translation is keeping a tidy arrange window. Nuendo has many different features to help you do this. First of all, take advantage of the visibility feature. This is available on the left-hand side of both the Arrange window and the Mixing console. It not only allows you to toggle the visibility of individual tracks, but also of entire track type groups such as MIDI, audio, group tracks and FX channels. Use the Track Divider line to keep important tracks always at view. If you click on this divider line here, a space will open up at the top of your Arrange window where you can drag and drop tracks like markers, video tracks and anything else you want visible at all times. This way, no matter how much you scroll vertically, these tracks will always stay in view. This feature is also available in the Mixing Console under the name of Zones. Click on the left circle next to the track name to keep the track visible on the left-hand side of the mixer or on the right circle to keep the track visible at all times on the right-hand side. Nuendo is underpinned by a cleverly designed search feature that allows you to not only search tracks and presets, but also track names. Say you have a session with 200 tracks and you just want to quickly find a track named Mechanical. Just hit the key command for search, which by default is Command or Control F, and type in the name of the track. Nuendo will find this track bring it into view and select it for you automatically. Window layouts in Nuendo are called workspaces and they have their own dedicated menu. Given that most of us usually jump back and forth from MIDI sequencing to mixing or editing mode many times during a work session, it really pays off to spend some time creating custom workspaces. To organize your workspaces, Nuendo includes a very handy workspaces organizer. Another way to save time is to automate the time-consuming and repetitive tasks and here is where Nuendo's macros can really help. These are accessible via the key commands window by clicking on the Show Macros button. You first need to create and name your macro and then you need to add the commands or task you would like the macro to perform and finally assign the key command to this macro so that you can trigger it at a single keystroke. The extensive import-export menu in Nuendo is one of my favorite features. Nuendo allows you to import and export tons of extremely useful items and I'm only going to scratch the surface here, but let's say you suddenly remember that a track from another project contains the ideal starting material for a sound you are creating. Instead of having to open the other project, export your tracks to audio and then import the audio files into the current Nuendo project, all you have to do is click on File, Import, Audio Tracks from Project. Select the project you want and a window will pop up to help you select and import the desired tracks. 
One of Nuendo's extremely helpful, exclusive features is the importing and exporting of clip packages. Say you are working with a multi-layered sound that you will likely need again in the future. Select all the audio clips in the arrange window that you want to include in the package and then go to File, Export, Clip Package. WISE has been designed with audio creators in mind and its structure is very similar in logic to that of a DAW. Many DAW concepts and terms have their equivalents in WISE and with the newly introduced Nuendo WISE integration, it really pays off to think in similar structure concepts. To demonstrate this, I'll take a very simple fictional first-person shooter game as an example. This game only has two levels and requires very basic sound effects and music. Level 1 is mainly an exploration level, taking place in two environmental zones. The main environment is a large rainy forest and the secondary environment consists of caves hidden in the forest that the player will need to discover and explore. Level 2 takes place at an underground station which the player will gain entry to by discovering a hidden entrance in one of the caves. This level takes place in a single zone but includes a slightly more complex gameplay with exploration, stealth and battle modes. The WISE project for such a game could be organized like this. For those of you who don't know it, WISE has been built around the concept of hierarchy. The master mixer hierarchy, which is at the top level, controls the entire audio of a game and individual hierarchies are then used for specific aspects of the audio such as sounds and music. The sound effects here have been organized using an actor mixer hierarchy for each group of sounds. Footsteps and weapons. Each group is then subdivided into containers based on parameters in the game such as what surface the player is walking on and what kind of weapon he is firing. Since I like to keep things as separated as possible, I would create two different Nuendo projects for the sound effects, one for the footsteps and one for the weapons. For each project, I would then create a different track for each type of sound, concrete or wood for footsteps and pistol or shotgun for the weapons, and use cycle markers to indicate the different variations. This would allow me to export all sounds at once using Nuendo's exclusive Cycle Marker Batch Export function. Now let's turn our attention to music. Each level's music in WISE is organized using the so-called interactive music hierarchy. Since level 1 is mainly an exploration level that doesn't involve any change in game states but only in environmental zones, I would possibly choose to adopt a horizontal resequencing approach. This means composing a different track for each of the two zones and then splitting each track into smaller clips to allow for greater flexibility in programming and triggering the music within the game. For level 2, since we are essentially dealing with a single environmental zone but with a more dynamic gameplay switching between exploration, stealth and battle modes, I would probably adopt a vertical remixing approach. This means composing a single musical track for the entire level, which will then be split vertically into three individual stems, each representing a different game state. Again, my tiny whiny OCD would take over and I would create three Nuendo projects for the music. For level 1, I would create two projects, one for each environmental zone. I would then use cycle markers to indicate the shorter musical clips to which the music would be split in, and once again, Nuendo's exclusive cycle marker batch export function would allow me to export all of them in one go. For level 2, I would create a single project since we are dealing with a single environmental zone, and I would use three group tracks to represent the three stems of the music. And this way, using Nuendo's channel batch export will allow me to export all three stems in one go. Thank you for watching our second video. I hope to see you next time when we're going to be looking at Nuendo's tools and features specifically useful for game audio work.